Hi everyone, my name is Holly Stout and I'm the Director of Product Development at Forever Living Products. And I'm going to tell you some really great information about how aloe was used in many, many generations before. So aloe is one of the oldest plants mentioned in ancient records. Now it's been mentioned up to 6,000 years ago. But we know, have documentation that it has been listed as a medicinal source for over 4,000 years. It's been found on papyrus and hieroglyphics and is really has been mentioned throughout so many phases of history and has testimonials from rulers, kings, queens, philosophers, spiritual leaders, and even down to practitioners. So aloe vera has been an amazing component used for centuries and centuries for all of its fantastic benefits. So you look at some of the cultures who have used it, and we really refer to the Chinese, the ancient Egyptians, the Greeks, and the Native Americans, because they all have documented usage of their elixirs and their, their, topical, their uh, topical gels and the way that they have used aloe in both the skin and the body. And they've used it as a fundamental part of traditional medicine. So, you know, it, it's been mentioned by the Greeks, the Egyptians, and the Chinese and even it's been referenced as new as the time of Christopher Columbus. So, you know, the Egyptians, they actually called it the plant of immortality. And the first known written reports on the nourishing juice of the aloe vera plant, this is where it reaches back to 6,000 years ago. And interestingly enough, even the dead were embalmed by the Egyptians with aloe vera because they had a spiritual belief that could stop the process of death and, and that eternal life could be attained on both a physical and a spiritual level. So they really believed that this was a fundamental plant, an important plant to the point where in a respectful manner, they used it to bury their loved ones. And so it was called the plant of immortality. You know, you go back to times of queens and, and princesses and Cleopatra and Nefertiti also used aloe in their daily skin treatments. They believed, again, it was a source of beauty and it was regarded as um, the usage of it, they regarded it as a pursuit of physical beauty. You know, the history of aloe vera is actually traced back to the Silk Road trading routes. You know, the Silk Route actually extended over 4,000 miles and it opened up the ability to develop and expand the civilizations of China, uh, the Indian subcontinent, Persia, Europe, and Arabia, and it really helped to open a long distance interaction between these civilizations. But the Chinese also exported or sold just simple things like teas and salts and sugar and spices and even aloe. But you know, mostly it was expensive luxury goods and aloe was considered one of these expensive luxury goods that they imported or bought. In Japan, aloe was known as the royal plant and the juice was consumed as an elixir. It was so revered and so precious that it was consumed as an elixir. If you think of what an elixir is, it's something that's so special and is made with so much care and has such an amazing benefit, they turn it into a ro uh, this, this royal plant into an elixir. And the samurai even used it as a liquid for rubbing on the body to relieve pain from sprains and strains. You know, we even go back as far as to King Solomon in the Old Testament in the Bible where aloe is mentioned. So in Psalms 45, 8, it says, all thy garments smell of myrrh and aloes and cassia out of the ivory palaces whereby they have made thee glad. So you can see the references to aloe throughout the history of time has really revered this plant as royal, as immortal, as a physical pursuit of beauty and has really been just one of those plants of all the plants in the world that has been mentioned and seen for up to 6,000 years. So you gotta imagine that all of those generations and all of those civilizations, they were onto something, they knew something, and you know what, they were absolutely right. And at Forever Living Products, we knew that aloe was an amazing product and sought to find a way to help really help people all over the world look better and feel better.
I hope each of you have a lovely day. Hugs and the best of to your success.